from the KATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, it's mild temperatures at night, uh, partly cloudy and warm temperatures in the afternoons over the next couple of days. Showers and storms on the way for Wednesday evening and perhaps the risk of severe weather. We'll get to that in just a bit. But as we take a look at the big picture, we have a number of storm systems lining up and we could already bird dog the two weather systems that we're going to see. The one midweek is on the west coast right now, uh, producing some pretty good snows and rain. We'll get to that in just a bit and Saturday's weather system. This one promises to set up a favorable jet stream that could bring us one of those all day rains on Saturday, so we'll see how it plays out. It's Monday. Forecast could change. So as we take a look at the big picture, we have this area of low pressure that has been producing some severe weather, by the way. Tornado up in Iowa earlier today. Snow on the backside and temperatures with that tornado in the 40s and a trailing frontal trough that we thought would bring us some showers. Indeed, it has uh, during the course of our Monday and the other weather system. Our Wednesday weather system you can see is producing snow at elevations still across the Sierra Nevada range into the Intermountain West, all helping with the drought situation short term, though. We'll see if uh, we can keep that moisture in the ground as you go into the uh, rest of the year. And then you do see showers across our area and as we dial into the regional Doppler radars. Most of the shower activity scattered in nature back through southwestern portions of Cameron Parish. And as we pull in power Doppler 3, we'll show you the shower activity close to home uh, from eastern Allen Parish through uh, a good part of Evangeline Parish uh, just near the Ville Platte area just north of Mamu. We're seeing some nice uh, little rain showers here and up toward Pine Prairie. Eventually some shower activity and elsewhere in Acadiana a few other sprinkles and we do see some light rain crossing Highway 90 uh, by, by the Sherrington exit but just north of Franklin. Uh, this activity impacting portions of uh, Iberia and St. Mary Parish is uh, mostly St. Mary Parish over the next half hour or so. So mild conditions overnight tonight is that one storm system departs off to the east. We'll see some sprinkly showers or spotty rains or misty drizzles overnight tonight. Then as we head into tomorrow, it looks like a, a fair bit of those clouds burn off and we get into the upper 70s. We're forecasting 79. The high in 81 is the record for tomorrow, so close to record temperatures once again. And then as we head into tomorrow night, more clouds, maybe some fog tonight, tomorrow night. We'll get to tonight in just a bit. Staying mild, temperatures hold near 70. And then as we head into Wednesday, partly cloudy, breezy and warm early in the day, upper 70s again. But here are showers and thunderstorms developing and moving across the region. We could see a few uh, supercell storms here that could be capable of producing damaging winds. So that's what we're going to be on the lookout for going into Wednesday evening. Highest rain chances after dark Wednesday and ending around midnight 1 a.m. And uh, here we go as those showers and storms exit off to the east. Drier air moving in as we head into Thursday. Storm Prediction Center Center has most of Acadiana hatched in for a marginal risk of severe storms. Slight risk as we get into the northern parishes per usual. That's a level two out of five. Main threat damaging winds, but uh, we could see an isolated tornado or two, so we'll be watching those trends. As for rainfall, I think we're going to expect between a half inch and an inch of rain, and that's what the model's going for. A few isolated spots will see more. It looks like we'll see a bigger soaking as we get into the weekend. As for fog situation, uh, there's going to be some sea fog banking up along the coast mainly western sections of Acadiana down along the coast. We could see some lower visibilities. There is a dense fog advisory back into Texas and we could see some dense fog mainly southwest Louisiana, not all of Acadiana, but essentially it's going to be overcast. It's going to be humid and that uh, cloud deck kind of sits down on us at night, but maybe a little too breezy for fog overnight tonight. We'll go 66 for the low uh, mid to upper 60s with uh, breezy conditions overall. And again, some fog down along the coast, few passing showers from time to time. And as we head into tomorrow. Much the same morning clouds though, but afternoon intervals of sunshine and that'll pump our temperatures up to the upper 70s as indicated. The record for tomorrow 81 degrees. We'll keep rain chance in the 10-15% range for tomorrow and then it goes up to uh, uh, rain chances goes up to 70%. This is late Wednesday. It's more mainly going to be Wednesday evening. Most of Wednesday could be dry, so we got 90% for Wednesday night. Thursday, Friday a little bit of a break and then comes the next weather system Saturday and then maybe another one on its heels as we head into Tuesday. So a wet and unsettled pattern in this weekend's rains will be the chilly type in the 50s. And as we move down the road, maybe some colder air following that next Tuesday weather system. So up and down weather as we see normally in the winter. Time. Yuck. Yeah, kind of yucky. <laughs> uh, I think that's why they do call it the most depressing time Absolutely. of the year. Absolutely. We have right? that story coming up right. in Healthy. Thank you, Ralph.